Welcome to Smashing Bloke. Here at Smashing Bloke, we're in love with cryptocurrency and all of that good stuff. Today, Smashing Bloke wants to talk to you about Tezos. Tezos is formalizing blockchain governance. So why Tezos? Well, Tezos is a permissionless, distributed, and self-amending platform that utilizes smart contracts. These smart contracts focus on the provision of a unique on-chain mechanism for governance. Tezos also aims to implement some improvements over similar platforms like Ethereum, NEO, EOS, and some others out there. In other words, you could say Tezos is a platform for smart contracts and decentralized applications. Tezos' primary focus is on modular design with trivial on-chain protocol upgrades, and this will be achieved by using delegated proof of stake where all participants are able to get involved in the governance of this platform. So how Tezos? Well, Tezos has designed a process for continuous upgrades of the Tezos protocol via on-chain governance. This means that Tezos is able to undergo incremental upgrades to the protocol without having to go through something so radical that it has to end up in a hard fork. Tezos is very against hard forks. To upgrade the platform, developers independently submit protocol upgrade proposals. These proposals in include the compensation that the developer wants to receive for implementing this upgrade. I mean, you gotta get paid. Seeing as Tezos uses delegated proof of stake as its consensus mechanism, all stakeholders are able to vote on the proposals and if it goes through and is successful, the developer is then allowed to start implementing, delivering this upgrade. The funds for compensating this developer for this upgrade will be held in escrow by the Tezos protocol and released once the upgrade has been fully implemented. Tezos doesn't have miners but bakers. These bakers validate transactions and add them to the Tezos blockchain. These bakers are compensated with Tezos tokens. Tezos is tackling scalability by using zero knowledge proofs, which separate the execution and the verification of smart contracts by consensus nodes. This greatly reduces the node's workload as only the proof of the smart contract has to be verified. Tezos smart contracts are written in Mickelson, a functional language designed for the Tezos blockchain. So who's working on this? Who's working on this? Let's take a look. Well, interesting team, interesting team. But a smashing bloke always says, if you're interested in this or any other coin, do some research of your own, find out more about the team, find out about development activity, find out where they are, what's going on before you jump in with your hard earned fiat. When do we see all this good stuff? Well, Smashing Block has been looking, but I can't find a roadmap, a 2019 roadmap. I can't find a 2018 roadmap for Tezos. I'll keep on looking. If you find one or know of one, please send it through to Smashing Block. I'm really keen to understand what the roadmap is here. So the Smashing Block thing about Tezos, well, I like the governance model and the use of delegated proof of stake. I like the way they're using zero knowledge proofs, but I have a lot of questions about how they would actually compete in this space, which, which has big players like Ethereum, like NEO, up and coming EOS and some others. So I think um, this is another one where Smash and Block will sit out and watch and see if and when he should jump in. Smash and Block out. If you like what Smash and Block does, please give us some likes and subscribe. Smash and Bloke, peace.